All right, everybody. Uh, <clears throat> I was able to use the heat glue, uh, the heat gun, and soften up most of the glue. Uh, and I got most of the glue off the wood here. I'm gonna try to show you. Um, I mean, there's definitely some little tiny shiny spots that are still on there that I I want to get off. But most of the stuff, uh, about probably about ninety seven, eight percent of the stuff that uh, I'm gonna attach back to the uh, frame uh, is free and clear here uh, of the uh, resin, epoxy resin there. Um, and then there's this. I was able to clean all the epoxy off of here and uh, most of it here. Still have a little bit right there I can get. Uh, this I was uh, able to get off. And um, so we're going to have this here to deal with. And chances are, I mean, this is pretty, this is still pretty sturdy. I, th I thought about just, you know, cutting that off right in line with that and then using some filler. And I may still do that based on some suggestions uh, or not. But, um, when we set this back on here the way it's supposed to be without uh, all that extra goop and stuff that's on there, um, I'm, I'm definitely going to be able to get uh, a better angle at it. Um, but it's going to just take a, a little bit of time and patience with uh, getting it aligned just right. Uh, and uh, that's actually right there is, is where it should be sitting. Uh, but it's not. So I'll have to fix that. Um, and I may actually end up cutting this piece off. So... Uh, I'm not sure if that's uh, advisable or not, but even with some fiberglass, I may be able to strengthen that back up. Um, but viewing from behind, I just have to get the angle. I'll just have to get the angle right. So um, I'll work on that. I think right now I'm going to charge up some batteries and go fly and come back and work on this a little bit more.